Welcome back to another episode of Cat Daddy and the Pizza Squirrel. I'm Tom Cat Daddy Cassidy. Uh, and I'm Alex Pizza Squirrel Pavone. Every week we talk <laughs> sports and uh, <laughs> take a critical look at legal gambling. <laughs> and then we talk, and I make, I, I gamble. Yep, he sure does. He yeah. likes to play the numbers, folks. <laughs> right? Well, I guess you're, you're we're going to see He likes the episode. scratchers. I don't like Are the scratchers. Are you a scratcher guy? No, I don't like You don't like the scratch, no, huh? I don't. What happens when you see pull tabs at a bar? Pool tabs. Pull tabs. You never done pull tabs? What's a pull tab? You buy them for a buck and you rip them open and maybe you win cash, maybe you win a free beer. Hmm. I don't do those. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, that like broke my brain for some reason. Anyway, that's our producer on the ones and twos, Mike the Bear, not the TV show Albanese. Grr. On the ones and twos, baby. <laughs> <laughs> We're back. <laughs> I like his sound effect a it lot. It was good, yeah, sure. Grr. Grr. <laughs> <laughs> Grr. How are you, Tom? Great to be here, boys. Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm fine, Pizza Squirrel. How you doing? Uh, you know, same same day, another sure. dollar. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We're yeah. talking NFL Combine today a little bit. You sure. have a hot take on the NFL Combine? Stupid. It's dumb. I think, this is what I think. Hit me. This is what I think. I think there's that spot in the NFL season, or not the season, in the calendar year where the NFL's got nothing going on, so they wedge the combine in there just to be relevant. And and everybody in their payroll, their scouts, their directors of whatever, they, they, they need to justify these people having a job. So they have them scout these players for no reason. There's the broad jump. Do you know what the broad jump is? It's one of the things on the, on the and it's just, it's standing long jump. Which they can't call it standing long jump, so they have to call it the broad jump. Just standing in place and jumping. You stand in place and you jump. What? Where do you? Oh, need? you jump F- lengthwise. Lengthwise, not With, high, not vertical. No, like what's the point of that? I don't know how you don't understand what the NFL Combine is for. Like nobody acts like it's important or like or like people want to watch it or anything. But it's just like people it's like do want to watch it's it. It's football B roll is what it is. It's yeah. To have when you're talking about the player running fast. Fair. Jumping high, jumping long. I yeah. mean, it's like it's, it's just like filler for, for like just dropping bombs on people. You know what I mean? It is like filler for like an announcer and stuff. It's more yeah. it's more for the B-roll. announcers than it it is for the players. But you know, some of these guys, some some of the war, the the best. The worst guys on the combine become the best players in the history of the NFL. But aren't those exceptions to the rule, Pizza Squirrel? Perhaps they could be exceptions to the rule, but I mean, when you get, you know, guys like Tom Brady, who, <laughs> guys like Tom Brady, I actually hurt my neck on that one. Jesus. I kind of felt that. I saw that. Right. Sciatica's acting up again, huh? <laughs> Kink of the old neck, pal. This guy's more pizza than squirrel at this point. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> you look like the guy who, uh, you look like Vincent D'Onofrio in Men in Black when the alien took over his body. <laughs> When you Hit me that. with the neutralizer. Yikes. Uh, what do you need to drink there, pizza squirrel? Some <laughs> sugar water. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's foolish. I think it's dumb. And people do watch it. People watch the the, the, the NFL Combine. There's like 600,000 people out there watching the Combine. That's nuts. I think it's like the football nerds who watch it, right? You know, I'm a football like, nerd, but sure, I'm not going to watch but, the NFL Combine and see some 300-pound linemen. You're not that high of a percentage of football nerd. Why you got to get the 300-pound linemen to, to, to do a broad jump or a, a a 40? Who cares about them doing a 40? They don't even run. Because I guess it's one of those things. If you're in between picking two 300 linemen and the one jumps a little bit higher, you go with that person as long as he didn't hit his wife. They should have a restraint um, portion. <laughs> Stop. They should have a restraint portion on the uh, for the linemen. A strength portion. Restraint. Restra- what do you mean? Like they they just line up a bunch of lasagna <laughs> and see <laughs> and see who who won't eat it. <laughs> or maybe just like Men in Black, they should have it where there's uh, things they have to tackle and things they shouldn't tackle, <laughs> yeah. like their like their girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you punch a guy in the head and then the girlfriend pops up and they go, Dee, hug. "Folks, this is a Men in Black podcast from this point on, <laughs> whether you like it or not." Okay. Boom shakalaka. But yeah, no, I I don't know I, how I feel about the, the combine. I th- again, you're right though. It is it is something for uh, it's a filler. It is a filler. It but is it's, what it is. It's, you but know. The, but the NFL does a phenomenal job making it seem like it's important, and and I do respect them from a business perspective. Well, what the hell are they supposed to do? Well, just nothing for two weeks. 
People don't talk about the NHL for months and no one seems to when care. When is the draft in the NFL? April. 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 End of okay. April. All right. I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't think it's not like nothing's going on in the NFL in May and June and July, right? Yeah. There's there's like like training camp and stuff. Training camp starts in like July, doesn't it? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So yeah, but that that whole time is is for training camp and all that like off season stuff. But mm-hmm. this time, it's for the prospects and the combine, and you know they they're making them do you know the wonderlick test and stuff like that. Which and we took the wonderlick test before the show to yes. see who is uh, smarter. So they do make them all. Everybody in the combine takes the wonderlick test. I believe so. If you, I, I believe, I think you can't opt out of any of the, or maybe you could opt out of stuff. But I think the wonderlick test and the interviews are something that you need to do mm-hmm. and the interview tests sometimes they get you know there's controversy over them because people are like you know asking questions like oh do you are your parents divorced and it's and the, the guys are like what, what does that have to do with anything and that's like, its well, own oh yeah, yeah yeah you slip to the third round i remember that from like Moneyball. remember that movie Moneyball? yeah and they were like basing it off of like if the dude had like a good looking girlfriend or not yeah stuff like that yeah for yeah. sure They're like give me let me see your picture uh, pull up your instagram her instagram and then you're like oof yeah, they're I guess they're just like deal breaker things of like if you're real close in between two people. Well, like, yeah. hey, I'd rather look at that guy's girlfriend. I <laughs> maybe <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean. Maybe, maybe if it's so close, yeah. maybe it's just like it's like a flip a coin type of thing, and you just have to like yeah, because you know yeah, maybe the organization wants to go with uh, this girlfriend's hoo haws over the others. Mm-hmm. The Cleveland Browns are selecting <laughs> but Buddy's you, girlfriend in the fourth round because hello. She's not much to look at, but if you tried her apple pie, <laughs> it is delicious. <laughs> but yeah, they make him take the Wonderlick test. So me and Pizza Squirrel took the Wonderlick test before the podcast. He wanted to do it on air, and I thought that was a bad idea, and I was 100% right about that. He was just cursing the whole time while we were doing Not the test. Not adding those results to the LinkedIn profile, I could assure <laughs> you that. It's not going to get you any jobs except maybe cleaning a bus, perhaps. It actually, it actually said that janitor was my most suited job, <laughs> which is respectable because my grandfather was a janitor. So if you've never taken the Wonder League test, um, speak English though. we took a, I don't know, it was the free test, but it was 50 questions, and I just didn't time it out right. I only got through 30 questions. How many questions did you get through? I have no idea they didn't tell me, but I know what I got wrong. Well, first of all, dummy, it literally says question two, question three. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't, I don't know. It just, you didn't it look just at the stopped. Number. No, I saw the numbers, it, but I couldn't tell you right remember. now. can't remember. Neutralize don't, me. Just don't say that it's because they didn't tell you. It's you just didn't look. Well, they I, did tell you. Like, it, okay, the wonder look stopped, and I just didn't know what question I was on, and I couldn't You're go back. back. Squirrel. Yeah. <laughs> Um, somehow Pizza Squirrel got minus 13. <laughs> I don't even know how that's possible. Um, his, his computer actually got set on fire during this Wonderlick <laughs> test. I couldn't really believe it. It's an iPad. You know it's an iPad. <laughs> the iPad gre- uh, grew two legs and walked away from him while he was taking this test. I don't, I think. No, you got a 13 out of 50. Yeah, but my fingers were hurting. Mm-hmm. And, I, I, and, and I had too much coffee today. I guarantee if I took it again, I'd get a higher score. I got 21. That's pretty bad. The fact that I am only eight points better than you is pretty bad. I agree. But, That's horrible. But I saw the percentages. Like, you have a 25% chance of getting a job, and I was on the low end, but I have a 50% chance, so I doubled it, basically. Yeah, but it said I would be a janitor. Uh huh. And which and that's a and that's a good job. That's a pension. That's a union. I'm part of a union. It I'm said, part of a squad. It said I would be the boss of the janitor. <laughs> <laughs> I actually janitor was 14. I was 13. So maybe I was just a maybe I'm just a broom. <laughs> You're the assistant janitor. <laughs> I'm a pylon. I'm just a wet a wet floor sign. <laughs> and you want to be my carpet salesman? Um, yeah, I don't know how this test. Would affect the football player at all, though. How dumb. good, how how bad, how good do you have to be at football for someone to get a five? Where they're like, maybe maybe we should look the other way. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you know, all these athletes have their because it's one thing to be athletic, but you do have to have a certain intelligence to get this far. Yeah, like they're intelligent in that specific way. I just don't think it translates to this type of test. I didn't. I, I there were so many things that I'm like, how is this applicable to a football player? I didn't. I didn't understand like the the word like some of the words. Some of the words I literally just didn't understand. But then I just also didn't understand how it would it would make. I want to know how many you guessed that you got right. Like I wonder what your real score is. Six. 
I don't know. I I, I think how I think many my, of them? How many of the thirteen that you got right do you think you absolutely knew for for certain? Nine. But I think I was. I think my guessing was a detriment to to what I was doing. Truly. No, actually, you should guess on this because it's fifty, and you just get a point every time you're right. Yeah. So basically, what I'm saying is, if there's like a minute left, you might as well just no for sure. But cruise. But are we sure the Wonderlick doesn't like reduce your answers for the incorrect ones? I don't know how that would be possible because they do it on the SAT. I don't think so. Yeah, they do. I know for a fact. No, I took not, the SAT. I'm not oh, sorry. What you get on the SAT? Bad. Tell me what you got. Like eight hundred. Okay. But I didn't study. Well, it's not really something you study for. Well, you could prep. I didn't do that either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can prep. Yeah, you could definitely prep. You could just, you know, like which ones. <laughs> you know, you know which ones to skip and stuff. Regardless, I did poor. Can you tell me what you got again? <laughs> eight hundred. It's <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> What'd you get? I got like an eleven thirty or an eleven forty. That's not that much higher. Three thirty more. That's a lot, is it? <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you got a big. I mean, it's considerably better. Maybe you got two big ones. Ain't big My, answers. I got jammed up on that wonder because I'm not really a math guy. I got really high on the verbal. I'm a verbal person. You're a wordsmith. I would like to think so. Yeah, I think your your words are okay. Sometimes I'd you like choose, you choose some so. piss poor words sometimes, mm -hmm. but other times you're pretty nail on the head. Well, hey, listen, we took it. Yeah, you did a great job. I'm really happy about that. We had a nice time. But yeah, anything else you want to mention about the you can so you can bet on things at the combine. Correct. Which um, is insane. Yeah, they got like uh, they got lines of like you know the bench press, uh, you know forty three and a half. Will, will people go over? Will, go over or under that like will the highest bench press be over in the 40 and stuff like that mm -hmm. and then also rich eisen is running in the he's an announcer and i have no idea why he's doing the 40 yard dash they just probably want people to watch so they have who, his would, who would that make watch nobody wants to watch rich eisen run i no one's at the water cooler like hey you're gonna watch eisen well, Run I, the forty. Had you told me this, had you told me this yesterday, I would have been like, "This is insane." But then I saw that, you know, put a bet in. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll, I'll be watching. I'll be tuning in. So when we were talking about if you could bet on uh, the combine, correct? We stumbled upon your favorite website, BetOnline.ag. Shout out to Karakwa. I think that's where they are. What Karakwa? is it? What's it called? Karakwa. God bless you. <laughs> What's that mean? I think it's the country where they're from. Where is that? Asia? No, Caraqua? it's like the Caribbean. Okay. The, the bear. Can you just tell us where betonline.ag is, if you don't mind? Like where the headquarters? Yeah, it, it, it might be Antigua. If you gave me... I mean, I... It might be in that song. Bermuda, Caracua, come, come on, betonline.ag. <laughs> yeah. Bet on... Um, but, um... They play that in the office. Commercial. We're really looking for sponsors on this show, folks. <laughs> Um, Panama City, Panama. Ooh, that there sounds it. about right. Okay, I was wrong. No wonder I, every time I'm like, "How's the Catequa?" It's it, easier to it say than Caraqua. <laughs> yeah. If I had ten op, ten chances to spell that, I wouldn't be able to. Caraqua. It's like one of those. They got like a, a little swiggle under the A. Mm -hmm. You know that one? Yeah. So anyway, we stumbled upon BetOnline.ag, and yeah, you can literally. Well, I stumbled <laughs> upon it. <laughs> you have it up on your phone at all times. You can literally bet on anything on this on this godforsaken website. And one thing you can bet on, this is our uh, image portion of the show, is the Sports Illustrated swimsuit cover. Yes. Uh, which is interesting because Sports Illustrated is defunct. Done. Do you know what defunct means? That was not on the Wonderlicht, or I would have got that right. Tostitos. Hasta la vista. Uh -huh. As they say in Caracua. Uh, bye bye. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened to Sports <laughs> Illustrated. But somehow they still have the magazine, the Sports Illustrated swimsuit, which makes sense. I mean, it's their most popular. You might as well just bring it back every year. I feel like it is a tradition every year they talk about, like, what sure. fucking idiot's going to be on the, the cover of that or it's what. It's been around a long time. Yeah, That's for sure. You call women idiots? That's that's what you're into. <laughs> that's pretty rude. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wasn't it Christy Alley one year or something? Uh, rest in peace. Oh yeah, she's dead. Kiraqua. Wish we could <laughs> go back in time and yeah. <laughs> save her. She was a good woman. Yep. She was on Cheers. Yeah, I know. I know. Who'd you prefer, did. her or uh, the other broad on Cheers? I like the other girl. 
can't think Diane. of her name. No, she's Diane, isn't she? No. No. I don't know. Anyways. We don't have to get into it. Cheers. We're more of men in black people. It was Shelly Long. Shelly Long. But yeah, but I couldn't think of her character Diane name. Chambers. Diane. And then what was the other? Sam what and was... Diane. Yes, Sam and Diane. But what was... Uh... That, wasn't, that wasn't even Googled. That was, was a man who knows his cheers. I know. What's the other character's name? The woman who's passed away. Christy Alley. I don't know her name. But ask, Alley, uh... ask the Cheers Wikipedia there in the corner. The uh, bear. Uh, Christy Alley and Cheers. Oh, her he's character. Googling. I'm Googling this one. I'm trying to remember. I can't. I she, uh, you, Rebecca but... Howe. Rebecca Howe. Correct. Smoky voice that brought. Anyway, I don't know if did, I don't know if she was ever on Sports Illustrated, but no, I don't know. You just made that up. She was on something, so I just assumed it was Sports Illustrated. But regardless. Okay. So anyway, let's look at uh, the odds. You can bet on who's going to be the cover model <laughs> of Sports Illustrated. Yeah. So the the heavy favorite. If you can pull that pick oh. up for us, holy moly, my God. There she is. We were doing a lot of, uh, you know, we did top nine hunks of the Super Bowl, and we did top nine butts of the NBA All-Star game. We thought we'd try a little, something a little different. Straighter? Yes. A little more heterosexual. Something for the fellas. This yeah. Christine, Kristen Harper. She's plus 300. She's Jared Goff's fiance, and boy is she. My okay. God. Holy hell. She's plus 300. And yeah. is, is she the favorite? She's the favorite at plus 300. Oh, yo, 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 yo. What do you think of that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you show me the money. <laughs> show me a sound of hecht and the time. <laughs> Pizza? <laughs> <laughs> I don't I, know why the sound effects are so funny. A, she looks like a good kid. I mean, yeah. I mean, if I've ever seen a favorite for Sports Illustrated, I would say she's, uh, yeah. Let's see the other losers. Scroll, Beautiful. <laughs> scroll them up. Stop calling these women losers. Well, show we me a little a something. Few female listeners, for God's sake. Uh, losers, I don't, yeah, I don't, you know, I don't know what a loser is. Sure, you? okay, no problem. 13 on the Wonderlick, for Christ's sake. So, coming in at plus 500. Katie Austin. Ew! <laughs> <laughs> it is a big difference. I mean, she's a very beautiful woman, but I mean, it's uh plus five hundred. So she's she's okay. So she's second at plus five hundred. Yeah, she is. Yeah, there's a uh, couple plus five hundreds. Okay, go. I'm. We're. I, I. I. I assume we're gonna bet on this just because I have no interest in this other than betting on it. But if I have money on it, I would. I'll. Pers- what does that mean? You don't have any interest in like it I'm otherwise? Not, you don't like a beautiful woman? I'm not concerned You're... about it, but if I have a little money on it, then I will follow along the story, and then sure. I'll have to keep tabs on she's this She's like woman. an every woman, you know? She's yeah. a beautiful woman. I'm just saying, she's the, the other woman, I mean, my God, just, things just... are c- coming out everywhere. <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah. what I mean? Yeah, this, <laughs> this, this young lady, yeah, she looks like anybody I'd, I'd see on the, on the old She's like a beautiful train. woman. Yeah, she's An normal. every woman. Yeah, she's every... very nice. She's at plus 500 yeah. right now. Um, okay, another plus five hundred is uh, this young lady, Hunter McGrady. Well, I'm gonna say that her odds should be quite lower um, than plus five hundred, or you, higher rather. Yeah, I thought you meant higher. Yeah, plus, I thought I thought when it was at plus five hundred, I thought that's how much she weighed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 oh man! Uh, I mean, I love. Uh, I'm just kidding. Is uh, that the bear? No, I'm kidding. Bear, I'm kidding. Bear. <laughs> is that Mike Albanese? <laughs> <laughs> Mike, you look uh, beautiful. No, um, substantial difference here from uh, the third plus size model. You yeah. Know? God bless her. Yeah. Um, maybe. I mean, maybe. May, maybe. I mean, maybe. She, maybe she'll win. I mean, I don't know if she has like some sort of backstory. I just don't know how this girl's plus five hundred, and then this girl's also plus five hundred. Well, I guess it's uh, obviously the the cultural norms have changed throughout the throughout the decades. There, my have friend. they, or are they just trying to make them? If this change? was nineteen ninety nine, she would be plus uh, a million. <laughs> maybe on a good day. Yeah. Plus a million in nineteen ninety nine. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, you could it, bet a penny and you'd be able to buy a house. Yeah. What are you talking about? If she's she a beautiful wanted, woman, it would be like you own a full Bitcoin if you won ninety nine and you put it. I'm just saying. Down. I don't mean to discourage this young woman. I'm sure she's doing great. She's yeah. a plus size model. And she's probably doing better than both of us. Way God bless. Of course. She, she, I'm a cat and you're a squirrel. She's getting higher than me on the Wonderlick. <laughs> but um, probably. She's probably licking a lot of. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Way to cut that one off there, Bear. That's why. Fair enough. I apologize. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. This is what I don't understand. Next one. Katie Bach 
comes in at plus 600. Johan Sebastian <laughs> Bach. Any relation? Kate Bach. Kate Bach looks like uh, the skeleton of Hunter McGrady. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, uh, I mean, you know, pretty girl. I mean, it just seems like you got a better <laughs> bet on this one, you know? We're just talking about bets right so, now. So what, yeah, exactly. She's plus 600. Okay, so. Kate Bach. Okay, so. That water looks dirty that she's in. Are these the pictures that, that, had, that they submitted? Oh, these are pictures that I found. <laughs> yeah. I had to do something to how change could, my search engine come, from hot NFL why, <laughs> players. Why is this your, why, why, why do you get this job? I'm what out here mean? looking at M NFL Combine stats. I don't mean to be rude because I do all the work on this podcast. <laughs> That's why. What the hell are you talking about? You don't you know how to, to be, You didn't mean to be honest? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, Bear. You don't know how to screenshot and save things and email things? What I, are you talking about? I'd learn for this. Okay. Okay. But you would just be calling me and asking me how to do it. Tom, how do I zoom in on Katie Bach <laughs> with my computer? Yeah. Um, yeah, plus 600. I'd probably pick her at plus 600. She seems like the best bet right now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty good, pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. Pretty girl. All right, so it's four. It's That's four. Is there one more? That's here? four. We got two more, actually. Two more. Yeah. Uh, plus 800, Nina Cash. What the hell is that? She's 800 years old. <laughs> I was going to say. What uh, is yeah. that? The Cash? It looks like Keanu Reeves' wife. <laughs> More like the Cuban peso, if you yeah. know what I mean. I mean, she's a beautiful older woman, and this is just another thing of like, it's interesting, you know. They put the you know the big girl in at plus five hundred. Yeah. This girl's fifty five years old. Yeah, and I mean, five years in five years, she's eligible for the Golden Bachelorette. Yes, she is. Would she do a great job win. on that? She could be the Bachelorette. I, she couldn't, but she could be the Golden One for sure. I stand no, that's, firm. That's what I mean. Like I'm saying. Because how they have the Golden Bachelor, she could be the main lady. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. She's beautiful. But, yeah, I mean, shouldn't we have, like, to your point, Golden, shouldn't there be a Golden Sports Illustrated magazine? Like, why are we trying to put these old broads into this? You know I, what I mean? I, I think they only have one or day of the year. put her on the back page. The cover? What are we talking about? They only have one day of the year, pal. She's they, a beautiful older lady. She is. She is. She is. And she's plus 800? She's plus 800. These are wild odds. These I know. are These are... How do these lunatics come up with this stuff? <laughs> they are lunatics. I mean, maybe that's what thirteen a uh, thirteen on the Wonderlic gets you. Yeah. Bookmaker at the uh, line maker for the for the mm. old uh, swimsuit models, but wouldn't mind that job to be yeah. perfectly honest with you. I mean, but, no, listen, uh, beautiful older lady, but I mean, you know. Well, I can't wait for the next one here. Okay. Plus thirty three hundred. Plus thirty three hundred. No. Hunter Schaefer. What? In God's green earth is going what you, on. What do you think she should be? She should be uh, closer to the top of the chain. Food. She should be up a bit. You want to put a bet in on her? Uh, no, because she's not going to win. Mm -hmm. Why do you think she wouldn't win, though? Because I don't think... Why do you think she's so high up? I don't know, Tom. I, I can't get a good read on these line makers here mm -hmm. for the swimsuit calendar. Mm -hmm. I'd like to ask him a couple questions. Sure. But well, this seems she must have done something. Is there videos of her like kicking animals? No, she's a trans woman. Okay. Well then. <laughs> well, there you go. You might have to zoom in on that one then. Uh huh. <laughs> I really got so there. that's why. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't. I didn't know she was a trans. <laughs> oh man, I can't wait for this sound effect. I'm sure it's gonna be a peachy, isn't it? <laughs> She's a beautiful woman. To me, it's like, yep. yeah, she's trans. And, yes. You know, they're just trying to, like, put these type of, like, so there's a she should bigger be woman, than... an older woman. And it. this is just, um. If I this... feel like this is where we are in society yes. of where we value bigger women, older women, and trans women. Okay. Wait, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm yeah. saying this is, like, how society. This isn't cat daddy. This is I'm just this calling it how I see it. Yeah. Well, I mean, in 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 reality, if this not, now this this might have to be edited out. But what might have to be edited out? What I'm going to say. What you're about to say? <laughs> well, we're keeping it in regardless. So no, if she was a man, as you claim. Well, she's a trans woman. Finkel is Einhorn, right? Einhorn Finkel. <laughs> we gotta get we gotta get this part out. Uh huh. No, we don't. Uh, she should be, if she looks like this now, she should be lower in my opinion. I agree. She should be at least plus 500. 
Yeah. Like, she looks good and was a man. Do you have a picture of her as a guy? Why does that matter? I just want to see what happened, like how, what it became, what she became. He no, became I him. think she's, um, she was on the show Euphoria. I don't know if you oh, a okay. popular I, HBO show. Okay. But uh, I'm pretty sure she was um, a person that identified that she was a trans woman very early on. Okay. So I think she, um, <laughs> she like, I think any pictures of her as a boy would be when she was like 12. Okay. And I don't know if that's what you're into. <laughs> Most certainly not. You sicko. <laughs> <laughs> nice try, buddy. Is my hair starting to run? <laughs> <laughs> I got the powder in, and I thought the rain was going to get me, but... Got, uh, the, got the Giuliani going again. Now it's this. <laughs> now it's the old Hunter Schaefer mm. picture that's got me sweating. The squirrel's about to climb a tree. So do you want to put a bet in? I'll take not the old chick and not the bigger lady. But I will take, um, I'll take Schaefer at plus 3,300. I mean, uh, those are high odds, so I assume the society's not ready for that, uh, um, a, a trans uh, cover for, on Sports Illustrated. Mm -hmm. And what a movie they're would ready, be. They're ready for the big girl, but they're Absolutely not ready for the trans are. girl. Absolutely, they are. They already had big, bigger ladies, and she's a beautiful lady. I but think it's one of those things, too, that like if you put the big girl on the cover, mm -hmm. it gets people talking. And then it sells more magazines, right? There is no more magazines to sell, Tom. They still sell the no, this. no, they're yeah. done. They're discontinued. If they except for this, they have a swimsuit. Yeah, just issue. It's, it's just one. But I think Hunter Schaefer. I don't know if it's all online. Maybe is that what you're saying? I'm not sure, but I think I Hunter so. Schaefer. They make a bigger splash with her, and and obviously it would be way more controversial. I mean, it it feels like they're going for a controversial approach here, with her just. I mean, this is in Sports Illustrated. So Hunter Schaefer also has a massive, like, following. Watch okay. it. She does. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. That was good. That was quick. What's that good? was quick. That's 21 on the Wonderlick. Got a real thick following. <laughs> I'm sitting here chewing on my coffee cup because I've got a 13. But, um, no, but, I, I mean, this is in Sports Illustrated. This is These are the lines makers coming up with these things. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I don't think they have anything to do with this. The they know what they're talking about. Yeah, perhaps. But I, I'll go with her. I'll take Hunter Schaefer. When does this come out? Um, You have to know by, I mean, you got to put the bet in, I guess, by Sunday, March 31st. Okay. So we got time. I got time to do some research. I'll talk to some people over there at Sports Illustrated. I'm going Kristen Harper. She's plus 300 for a reason, folks. Okay. Right? Yeah. And she's Goff's fiance. Yeah. That carries some weight. For sure. Mm-hmm. He had a big year, so they're, they might they might want to, you know, parlay that from his success to his uh, fiance. Yeah. Are there any prop bets on this or no? Uh, which. Who knows? If Which nipple will be more visible? Maybe. Left <laughs> plus 900? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea how you could perhaps make a prop bet from the, the swimsuit cover models, but. If anybody um, can figure it out, it's you. There is not. It doesn't look like. Um, it looks like they've covered everything here on betonline.ag, so I don't know. Perhaps maybe we could write something in and go, ha, excuse me, where are the prop bets available for the swimsuit cover? I have a couple of ideas that I'll shoot your way. You just make sure that there's nothing else. No, I, don't, yeah. I don't think there is. Nope. The only person who's got a higher, someone's got plus 5,000. Yeah, who's that? Andre, and, Andraja Pejic. Okay, she sounds like a, an Eastern European I think she's also a trans person. I looked her up. A trans woman as well. So I guess, um, yeah, trans women have the less likely. I don't like that, Tom. Hey, I agree. But I these think. are this is what this is what the bookmakers are saying. This is what Vegas is saying. I don't I yeah. don't agree with Vegas. If you weren't getting married in a month, I think you were ready to slide into Hunter Schaefer's DMs. Two months. <laughs> Two months. Sorry, let's not jump ahead. Okay. You gotta so, yeah, your screen. You gotta dust it a bit, though. It's a little dusty. This is the type of stuff you bring up. It's dusty. It's a dusty screen. Jeez. This is the type of stuff you bring up after the podcast. Okay. Dusty well, screen. Just saying. We're supposed to have a call at two, weren't we? Oh uh, yeah. Well, what's we, going on here? I don't know. It was your call. So, anyway, there's a lot of crazy bets you can make on this stupid website, and I wanted to go over some of them. Okay. Here's one. You have to get it in by Thursday, February 29th. Yep. So it's already too late. But um, it was um, a Sean P. Diddy Combs one. Okay. Plus 100 to reach financial 
settlement? We're getting a call. Okay. Matt, Matt from Indy. You're on Cat Daddy and the Pizza Squirrel. How you doing, buddy? What's up, guys? Thanks for having me. Of course. Uh, right now we're getting into weird bets on, do you have any, uh, do you, do you bet on anything? Oh, I'm a, I'm a big gambler. I love betting on anything sports related. Usually sure. I'm, I'm in, that makes I'll find anything. I bet on darts. I bet on, you know, uh, Turkish basketball. Galatasaray. Very good team. <laughs> yeah. 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 I've definitely been in the middle of the afternoon screaming about Turkish basketball being like, man, I gotta maybe rethink what I'm doing. Baklava. Sure, yeah, that yeah, is... These, these, these freaking Turks don't play defense. <laughs> <laughs> Take the over. These Turks don't know what's going on on defense. They're all over the place. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? What are the fundamentals in Turkey or whatever the fuck <laughs> <laughs> Istanbul, Jesus. That's all I know. <laughs> um, Do anyway. you ever use uh, betonline.ag? It's not I a sponsor. I'm just I, asking. Uh, no, no, no. I never did. I'm a DraftKings man. Cool. Um, yeah, on betonline.ag, we're going over some of their weirder bets that you can make. Um, I mean, Turkish basketball is one thing, but you can literally bet on Selena Gomez. You can bet on Selena Gomez's life on Bet Online. So it's minus 200 to release an album. It's plus 400 for her to split from Benny Blanco. It's plus 400 for her to marry Benny Blanco and plus 500 to be pregnant. Do you have any thoughts on, oh, wow. on the, oh, what, wow. what would you take? What are you thinking? I'm thinking we, here's what we do. We take them to split and then we boots on the ground, infiltrate and sabotage their relationship. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? How like, it's almost like one of these things where I guess you can only bet so much money on these things. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. like, well, did you guys see the story about how the guy in there was a guy in I think Las Vegas that bet a thousand dollars that there, there would be a streaker during the Super Bowl? Then he went to the Super Bowl and streaked. Of course, I saw and that. Wow, I did miss that. They, they wouldn't let him collect. They wouldn't. They refused to pay him out because they realized his plan, so they didn't pay out the win. That's messed up. He did what he had to take. He's like. Yeah, no, I mean, they've done that before. You, you're you sort of fixing the game. It is up to them whether they're going to pay you or not, and I guess they chose not to, but that guy is a genius for doing that. It, well, it ultimately well, it didn't work. He should have had his friend to make the bet. Either. Yeah, yeah he should have, you, you got to cut somebody in. Genius move. Yeah. You, you have somebody place the bet for you, or you have pay somebody you know, to go streaking. You can't do one-man operation. You can't be greedy like that. Yep. Greed got him. Greed did get him. Yep. But back to the Selena Gomez thing, the, the the bookmakers are split here whether they think they're going to go fully married or break up. It's a plus 400 even on that. You know how these celebrity both. romances are? It's wild, though. Yeah. That, that, those are, that's, the, that's the same number at plus 400. So th they think that they're going to go the distance or inevitably split Splitsville, USA. So um, I, I like these bets, though. Yeah, they're pretty good. I'll give you another one. Um, so... We can bet on the Special Olympics. Celebrity gossip like that makes my sister feel like a handicapper. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> was a wild this? choice of words. <laughs> yeah, especially after we're going into the Special Olympics. This is an interesting one. I don't even know what this means, but for the Special Olympics, you have to bet this by Friday, May 31st, 2024. This is, I don't even understand what this means. Any athlete to fail a sex test. It's minus 1,500, no. Plus 600, yes. So... What's a sex test? Oh, my God. This episode is going to get us in a bit of... It could always be... It's, we're in a slippery slope. They test if it's a guy or a girl, dude. Oh, I thought it was if they were fucking or not. No, it's Tom. No cat daddy. So... What? Go, go, Matt. Take it away. What? I, I'm confused. Is, are you for real? What, like... Is that really just to verify their sex? I guess. I mean, I guess, yeah, they do a sex test on... Man, so there's so there so you might be a special needs trans athlete. Mm hmm. Yeah, no, look at I'm I'm watching Matt, I'm watching it all come together in his eyes right now. I know you can't see his eyeballs, but he's all the pieces are sort of coming together here for, for He's got a lot daddy. going on. That's all I'm saying. Oh, it's too much. This is why I don't so venture I'm sorry, in this. What what were the odds on it? Do they think that someone <laughs> likely, so, is it likely that someone will fail? Um No. Oh, my boy. Uh, no. Uh, so it's no is minus 1,500. Yeah. And then, but, I mean, plus 600, that's pretty good odds. I mean, the onus on there is the people who are responsible on, uh, for this for this young, perf 
this young athlete, really, that, you know. Supposedly, it's uh, been going on for a long time. They're looking for XX chromosome evidence. Okay. That's what mm-hmm. just, that's based, they do a okay. blood test. Oh, okay. And, oh, so they're not, so it's a blood test. They're not just going to, like, you know, <laughs> take a peek. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's generally how it goes in the Olympic Committee. They don't, they don't uh, strip you down there. <laughs> well, yeah. that's good to know. Sure. I'm, I'm glad. That makes me feel better about betting on it. Speaking of sexualities, um, you can also bet by March 31st the number of new sexualities added. So zero to two is minus 150. Okay. Three to four is plus 240. And five plus is plus 500. Well, zero to two. Okay. Mm-hmm. So if one or two <laughs> sexualities get added, you're still in that that zero mark. Yeah. Imagine you have the zero to two, and then they're going to add a third, and you have to rise up and be like, it's too much. Um. <laughs> Where does it end? <laughs> that's, that's so crazy. I feel like one sexuality added is, yeah. is already a, a, a big one, and they group zero and two together? Well, what how if, many are added? What if you're somebody's like dad, and you bet on zero to two, and your son walks in, and he's like, Dad, I'm a girl dog. And you're like, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't do this to me. <laughs> I don't care that you're doing it. You're just costing me a lot of money. Fifteen hundred dollars yeah. in my pocket, riding yeah. a not yeah, girl you're, dog. <laughs> you're killing your father. Are you happy? <laughs> and this is how you want to go to the Special Olympics. Anyway, yeah. Well, thank you for calling I, uh, in. We really yeah, appreciate yeah, it. This is uh, we didn't we I'm didn't really guys. we didn't imagine that we would be going down this um this I had, route. But I had an idea. But um, yeah, man. Thank you for calling. You're the best, oh, buddy. And uh, set- you guys got any action tonight? I'm looking at the big board here. I'm, I'm thinking about maybe putting zero to two in on uh, on a new sexuality. I might be. Oh, I, I might need throw some actionable intel. Uh, tonight I got. I I don't know. I haven't looked at really anything. But um, I haven't either. I'll send you. I'll send you a text. That's uh I like Timberwolves Grizzlies, but that's it. Okay, Matt from Indianapolis. You're a good kid. We'll talk later. See you, boys. Thanks for having me. Of course. It's See you, buddy. Good kid right there. Good kid. Good, good wisdom. Kid. Good knowledge. Sure. You really you really picked out some wild ones he for us. He called it you? straight. I'm he just did? fuck I'm just running around this stupid website looking at it. Oh, here's a good one. They Megan. Got any, they got any Joe Biden ones? Probably. Like will Joe Biden like fall this month or something like that? That's gotta be pretty good. I would think so. Here's one. Megan and Harry. Okay. By Sunday, March thirty first, two thousand twenty four. Okay. To be stripped of their titles by the first of June, no is minus one hundred. Yes is plus five fifty. Yeah, no. I, I mean, if they haven't been stripped right uh, as of yet, you might as well just go by. You could get this bet in. You'll have this figured out by the summer. Yeah, I mean, yeah, no, it's by June first. You could put. You could probably. You could put a G on that, and, and you know. Sometimes I think with all of these bets, you might as well wait until the last day you can get the bet in, right? Because it's like dumb that, not to. Well, by the thirty first, yeah. It would be dumb to put any of these bets in before the. You put a no. This podcast, you, you this podcast finishes. You go downstairs. People are like, they're done. Yeah, they're out. No, they've been booted. <laughs> Tom's now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, what do yeah. you, I don't think they're going to be stripped. No, I don't think so first, either. Unless they do some crazy shit. They got to do some wild shit. <laughs> yeah. Fuck the queen, <laughs> dead bitch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she smelled funny. Yeah, yeah. You gotta do something <laughs> crazy. Do it, right? Disrespect your grandmother like that. Yeah, you're gonna get ousted. You're gonna get the old heave ho, the old mm-hmm. royal. See you later. How do you do? Oh, Lizzo court case. Lizzo sexual harassment case. Oh, this is good. This is also by Thursday, February twenty ninth. So it's over. But um, no, case th- dismissed. Buddy, the 29th is tomorrow. We're good. I, I know, but we're releasing this next week or in a week from. Oh, yeah. So we're trying to. We we're trying to very, create an illusion of that very good that you have shattered. <laughs> yeah, I apologize, but let's get right to the bets. <laughs> so anyway, you'll know if this is right or not. But yeah. case dismissed minus five hundred, wow. acquitted plus five hundred, okay, convicted plus three hundred, mistrial plus eight hundred, eats twelve donuts in the courtroom, <laughs> even. <laughs> That doesn't not. seem right. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was me making a joke on a comedy good. podcast, you idiot. It was good. I leaned over. <laughs> I go, I think <laughs> that can't be it. Can are, it? Those, are those assorted? Uh-huh. I mean, these Munchkins. batters are out of control, aren't they? 
I, I mean, they're not the betters; they're the line makers. But that's what I'm saying. Obviously, people are taking this action because uh, it's up there. But how many people do you think they got going over these books, like on these crazy bets? Is it like one person? How the hell can you bet on Courtney Cox? What could be <laughs> the thing in Courtney Cox to bet on Courtney Cox? Well, let's hear Trends it. has been over for 20 years. Oh, Courtney Cox. I thought I thought you were saying Courtney Love. My bad. Courtney. You thought you were talking about the uh, the seventh man in the <laughs> swimsuit Sports Illustrated competition. Yeah. I don't know. It actually spells your name wrong. That doesn't look how you would spell Courtney Cox, but maybe that's how you spell it. They're to from- appear in celebrity version of The Traitor, United Kingdom. So why, the fu- why would she... Is there a different Courtney Cox that I'm unaware of? Maybe. But it's minus 500, no. Plus 300, yes. I don't know, man. These bets are insane. Here's another good one. Next Pope. You can bet on the next Pope. You got to do it by tomorrow. Um, tomorrow? Big day. It is a big day. Um, Europe, minus yeah. 120. Oh, it's pope. it's where he's going to... He, you can bet on a few different things. Yeah. So that's the one, the continent of the next Pope. Yep. Africa, plus 450. Okay. This must not be basketball. <laughs> Black people are good. Give me another continent. North America, plus 450. There's never been an American Pope, has there? I don't think they, I don't, I think Europe really likes their Popes. Or, or like Africa, too, would be a good one. I, I don't think North America is going to have a Pope. What do you think we're getting first? A North American Pope? <laughs> or a trans woman on the cover of Sports Illustrated. Hit up that online and tell them you want that. You want that online. I want to wear a real weird parlay. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> hey, I'm thinking the Timberwolves. Pope from Australia. Wait, can you look up Mark Olette for me? Um, It's O-U-E-L-L-E-T. But he's the favorite. He's at plus 500. To be the next pope, there's a couple plus. Oh, it, wait a minute, maybe this guy's from uh, maybe Marcoulet. this guy's from Quebec. Sounds like a hockey player. Uh, maybe he's from Quebec. He's a Quebecois. Or maybe he's French. Uh, that's yeah. That's where we keep our French in yeah. the, in the the beautiful province of Quebec. Yeah, he is the uh, the top prospect. <laughs> uh, he is the uh, Canadian pre late pre late of the Catholic Church. So it seems like he's in charge of the Catholics in Canada. Canada. How's Interesting. His, how's his vertical? <laughs> you, is should there, see, you should see his hail marys, buddy. Uh-huh. <laughs> throwing them hard, and he's throwing them fast. I would, I would watch the Pope Combine a thousand percent. That oh my be god, good. the Pope Combine. Just throwing. How far did that holy water, water travel? Mm-hmm. Just one of those. What else did they? What other events would be in the Pope Combine? How fast can you catch that altar boy? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we we just peaked on that on the on, on the Pope, Pope Combine. <laughs> Is it still in Indianapolis, the Pope Combine? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, other, the other favorite's a guy named Pietro Parolin. How, how, far, how far can they jump to conclusions <laughs> <laughs> about your marriage? Broad jump. Uh, Ew. <laughs> hated it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, now we're having a great time. Pietro sure. who? Pietro Parolin. Pietro Parolin. Yeah, I assume he's Spanish, maybe? Go on that. Know. Can Plus we find- 500 on him. Can He's we, also the other. Can we get a little? Can we get a bio on here and his wingspan, if you don't mind? Spell it. Pietro P I E A. I'm sorry. P I E T R O. Parolin P A R O L I N. He's got a 62 Ooh, inch. He's the cardinal secretary of the state of Vatican City, coming in. Oh. Uh, parents raised by Adia Multi and Luigi Parolin, <laughs> author of the other Francis, everything you didn't know about the Pope. Italian. Oh well, mm. I don't think I don't think he'll. I don't think an Italian will be the Pope. I don't. I think there's already too much Italian stuff too going much. on here. But but it's Did, vertical to handle the host. Mm-hmm. Lengthy. Good form. Lengthy. Look at the drop. Mm-hmm. Look the at the fundamentals. <laughs> fundamentals of the host drop. Thing uh-huh. is. It's like a reverse layup. <laughs> yeah. Sixty nine years he goes old. Like that. He, he finger lays up the. <laughs> no, he, he gives a little feather drop on it. Stop. Why? I like this pope that we got now. He's a good pope. That that pope better than that last the pope. The, the, the pope who came before him was like the first pope who was like, "I'm done. I don't uh, want a pope anymore." There's a German pope, wasn't he hit him it? with this. Pietro's coming yeah. in at 76 centimeters. <laughs> <laughs> Can't um, do the conversion quick enough. I like what this pope said though. This pope was like, uh, "If you want to eat meat on Fridays during Lent, just be a nice person." He was like. Cause like this Pope, current Pope, the current Pope, he just said it like a week or two ago. He oh, was wow. like, uh, he was like, if you don't eat meat and are like mean to people, 
that's not cool. <laughs> so he's he's like, sense. I'd rather you eat a hot dog and be nice. <laughs> I'm paraphrasing, of course. But that is basically... That's cool, though. He also approved yeah. blessings for same-sex couples. First pope to ever do it. What's or his name? Is pope? Know of. That's cool pope, pope Francis. Oh, this is Pope Francis. Not for marriage, but he's okay with you being in a relationship. Where, where's Pope Francis from? Argentina? Or something like that? He's from S South America or something. What's the tale of the tape? For Xavier Pope? University. Xavier? Are you serious? He's the 266th Pope. Isn't that crazy? Xavier's having a bad year. They could use Francis to go to the locker room and, and give him a quick pep talk. You guys can eat pepperoni pizza <laughs> if you're nice. <laughs> Treat your mom with <laughs> kindness. <laughs> and an Oktoberfest is yours on Friday. <laughs> uh, this Pope stuff. stuff, really, we're having a good time. Okay, get, yeah. this, get this lady off the screen. Sorry. Show me the Popes. I didn't mean to confuse Get a Pope you. on the cover of Sports Illustrated, for God's sakes. Uh, you can bet on Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. Of course you can. Um, that, that Taylor to saying. appear on New Heights, their podcast, by NFL Week 1. No is minus 300. Yes is plus 200. You might as well go with yes. I got the inside track for my wife, though. She seems to like know all about this shit, and she no. said she doesn't think that she'll go on that podcast. Why not? Is it is it below her? Um, I don't know. I kind of <laughs> stopped listening. <laughs> 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 you know how these broads get. Yeah. What's the over-under <laughs> over <laughs> on you getting a divorce? Uh -huh. <laughs> hey. Pretty good, Mikey. What? <laughs> what the hell's going on here? I love my wife. My sweet baby girl. Trying to find a good <laughs> trying to find a good sound effect that gets me out of this, but I'm having a little bit of trouble. Yeah. Pull, uh, <laughs> pull up one of them popes on um I'm just doing random ones because I'm nervous. Uh, so you can bet on if they'll be engaged in 2024. No, minus 200. Okay. Yes, plus 150. Wow. They don't. They don't have a. What do you think on that one? I would, would go. go I would. I would go no. I would. I no. would say. You know how much money they're taking on yes. You know how many. You know how many. You know how many. <sighs> they're pretty hot and heavy. I could see them pulling the trigger. I don't know. You think about how many. Because also they're both so like also like in and out of relationships and stuff. I feel like they're like we gotta lock this down before we break up. I think these bets, to be honest with you, though, are like to to for for the guys to be. They're like gambling online, and their girl and their girlfriends are like, "Why the fuck are you always gambling?" And he's like, uh, "Babe, Taylor Swift bet, uh, bet." And then she, they get enamored in it, and now it gets a little. They get off their tail a bit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So think about that. How many, how many girls are gonna put yes? Engage Taylor Swift. You know how much money they're taking on that? On yeah. the yes, sure, a sh ton. I almost said a ton, a ton on yes. I'll go with no. I don't think they're gonna engage in 2024. She's busy. She's on she a is. world She's tour. She's touring the country, and he's 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 doing things. But Got I a think big podcast. Give okay, his brother. You could bet on if she's pregnant or not too. And I think that um, I, I feel like that one went away. But like if he's following oh. her all over Europe all summer, it seems like prime squirt weather. You know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the the pope the pope uh, the pope school with it uh, unprotected sex. I don't think he said Fire that. Fire away, Travis. He didn't say that. <laughs> Down set. <laughs> As long as Sorry. you are, as long as you are nice to your mother and father, you can squirt and tell us. <laughs> <laughs> Call your grandmother on Sunday, and <laughs> I can, what can I say on this podcast? That's a good one. Is, is there a bet that you can see what Travis Kelsey how he announces it? He goes, "We got ourselves a touchdown, ladies and gentlemen." <laughs> <laughs> QB sneak, anyone? <laughs> Go to the soup kitchen in the afternoon and come inside of her in the night. Sorry, too much. And do this pepperoni. <laughs> um, Have a hamburger. Here's an interesting one. Most stolen car in the USA in 2024. Yep. Plus 130. Ford full-size pickup. Chevrolet full-size pickup is plus 150. Kia Optima, plus 800. Isn't that crazy? Like, you have to wait all year to see how many cars people steal? Steal it's a long bet you're right. Steal a car? On. They're like, yeah. you got 10 grand in bail money? Well, luckily, I stole that Honda Accord. Yeah. Cash me out, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a weird way to have insurance for your Kia Optima. Where are you going to get this money? Yeah. BetOnline.ag. Uh -huh. Yeah, someone stole my Kia Optima, but I made $5,000. <laughs> so Just leaving the doors wide open. Got the insurance money, you know? I mean, <laughs> Shooting could be a worse. thief. <laughs> 
go, go, go. Uh-huh. Steal it. Go, go. Take it, take it. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> but I have no idea how they come up with this, but I'm I'm into it a lot. I'm gonna be gambling on a bunch of these when I go home. Or mm-hmm. now. Who knows? I might sure. do it. Um, the Oscars are coming up. You can bet on the Oscars. I know nothing about that. Nah, Let's that, go back yeah. to stolen vehicles, please. Sure. I just thought we could just do maybe one. Sure. Maybe. Yeah, sure. Oppenheimer. Best director. Oh. Christopher okay. Nolan's... M- this is insane to me. And I mean, I... Who would want to bet on this? I mean, I guess a win, but Chris- Christopher Nolan is minus 3,300. Yeah. You got to put down a lot of scratch for that type of thing. My you want, God. You want you put down $3,300 to win $100. That's insane. That's... You must be... You got a lot of... Freaking out when they're making that announcement. Yeah, yeah, You're yeah. sweating your bag off for a hundo. How do, they, how do they take those bets, though? Because there are people that know the answer prior to the night of. So, like, people can just... Like, that just seems like the outcome doesn't... is is. I guess, I yeah. guess same with the streaker, with right? sports, though, it's... I guess everybody they, knows at the same time who wins. But I guess it's the same with the streaker. They will do an an, a, a, an investigation to know yeah. that if you had prior knowledge. And then if they, you know... Yeah, I don't know. You can bet on TV shows here, like what happens in a script. So, yeah, I mean, it's like, yeah, yeah, you could get your hands on those scripts, I think. I feel like they would try to keep this at least a little more tight-lipped. Yeah, they're not going to – they might go through your phone, and they're like, why do you have a text from Christopher Nolan that says, smash it? Supposedly, (laughs) the the accounting firm PwC is in charge of all that, so Price Waterhouse Cooper, they call it, but it's PwC on the streets. Huh. Interesting. Because then, even for this, like, minus 3,300, insane – Martin Scorsese is plus two thousand for Killers of the Flower Moon. So what, what? I could see that happening. What? So then, so, so then put put a hundred dollars on it for what is he plus two thousand? Yeah. So what the hell are you doing? Put a hundred dollars on it. I don't gamble anymore, except I gamble with you on the show. But I don't gamble. I'm the straight man. This on the ain't show. gambling. That's a lock, kid. What movies? What movies? Nolan. What movies? He. Oppenheimer. Oh, you're done. No, don't even touch it. He's gonna win. What what are you what, what are you basing this off of? You haven't seen any movies. No, I you know nothing about. But it. I've but I've heard of Oppenheimer. You've the heard most. the buzz in the street, huh? Exactly. Fair enough. Exactly. That's Martin exactly Scorsese, what I mean. though, killer of. I mean, the weirdest thing about the Oscars is they have best director and then they have best picture. Yeah. So like, I could see Oppenheimer winning best picture, and I could see them giving Scorsese best director. So I mean, plus two thousand. You heard it here from Cat Daddy. It might not be a bad bet. Throw about twenty bucks on Scorsese at Bet Online. Do it. Let's do it right now. Here, let's put it in. I think you could do it. I could but, do it. But also, it doesn't make any sense that best director and best picture. If it's the best picture, then it's the best director. What are these people talking about? Let's do let's do Scorsese right now. I'll put it in. We're not getting another call, are we? Uh, we might. Okay. We're, we're supposed gonna... to. Let's check it out. They're a little late on the call. Okay. <laughs> we got 10 left, Mikey? 55. We're at 55 we're right at now? 55? Time. Really flies. Flies when you're disrespecting the Catholic Church, huh? <laughs> I don't wow. think that's what we're doing. I love you, Jesus. I I, okay. I I don't. I'm not a big Jesus guy. I'm sorry. Is this podcast over? Are you going to boot me? Are you toast? Ugh! Stop it. Stop. Enough. Wait. I'm to have you talk ill of my savior. I could bet guy. on squash? All right. Don't get... You don't have to make a bet right now. No, I no, want vegetable? to. You can do it later. Fine. Fair enough. We've got five <laughs> minutes left on the goddamn podcast. Is squash a loom? Are there any food-based bets? That's when I started getting into prop betting. That's when the bear thrives. That's where I go, baby. Is there is there a, what what the new menu drop is going to be at Eleven Madison? <laughs> is it going to be all vegan, or are they going to throw a fish on there? That's what I want to know. Will the double down be off the menu in 2024? Minus 900. Will Will Wendy's continue dynamic pricing past the two minutes after the launch? <laughs> dynamic. That's about hilarious. This? That's that's gonna that's be the fun. fattest thing you've ever said. They're going to do it like like toll lanes. The more people that are in your the restaurant, the the price goes up of the burger. Are you serious? Yeah. There's a surge they price. They just announced surge pricing at Wendy's for 2025. <laughs> oh my god, that's <laughs> it's like so an Uber. Fat. <laughs> Too many people eating. We dropped the price up. We got to get this beef at, at top value. <laughs> Truly insane. I've become paralyzed by this bet. This is the craziest bet I've seen on this thing, and I'm glad we're closing on it. Perfect. First of all, I didn't even know that this was coming out. You can bet on Toy Story Five. Yeah. And you can bet on characters to be killed off. Okay. Mr. Potato Head's plus 400. Okay. Mrs. Potato Head's plus 600. What is she? Was it a murder suicide? <laughs> Can you do a far Wait, is, has Sarge is plus 400. Woody's plus 800. Buzz Lightyear's plus 1200. How do these people come up? Slinky Dog's plus 1000. Has anybody died in Toy Story, though? Has Stinky any- Pete's plus 1400 to die. Who, who's I would died, think though? He, that's a great bet. You would think Stinky Pete would die, probably. I don't no. know who he is. No. Who would, who's died? 
Who, who's died thus far in the first four toys, Toy Stories? I can't think of one. I'm not really. I mean, didn't I've they seen... die? Didn't they all die at one point? Didn't They're they toys. Like, didn't they like all burn? I think you're thinking of uh, Reign of Thor. <laughs> I don't think you're thinking of that right movie. <laughs> didn't they, they die? Didn't the they dust? all burn? And then some, they were crying. I remember one of the Toy Stories. There Where was, is it? It was emotional. Toys melt it into fire? No, that never happened. That never happened. I don't what think the so. Hell was that? Might have been like a. They might have almost. I think that's what you're thinking of. I at I this, remember that. Like they were almost all set on fire. At or this point, like I would take Woody or at. Uh, I would say Woody at plus eight hundred seems low. Even even Buzz. H- have they like started to to to, to lose their luster? Woody plus eight hundred is pretty low. Toy Story. I mean, loses their luster. Toy Story came out when we were children, and now we're almost forty. But I'm saying, well, take it easy. But I'm what I'm saying is, in the four Toy Stories, has one become like more mean? Like his like I don't understand how how Woody could be plus eight hundred to he's die. Like, he's like a huge guy in it. Yeah, Woody and Buzz Lightyear are the top guys. That's what I'm saying. Why is Mister Why is Mister Slinky Tits? What's his name? Slinky Head? Stinky Pete? Stinky Pete? Why is he? Who is he? I've never heard of him. Why is he this? I'm not really sure who Stinky Pete is either. So then why is he he such a, a maybe because he's such a like little character that he might not even be in it. I mean, you can oh, I'm sorry, on... Mister Potato has plus four hundred to die. Okay, that makes. I mean, Don Rickles is already dead. Yeah, I think it's easier to kill someone off. But he's been dead. I don't think he was around for Toy Story 4 either, I don't think. When did Toy Story 4 come out? I don't know. I'm not sure. But the release date, you can bet on the release date, is um, over... uh, 2019 was Toy Story 4. Okay, so we're looking at five 2026, years. 2026, Toy Story 5. Can you can you check any Toy Story casualties over the years quickly? So I with a lot of minutes. cast, a lot of actors, but no, 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 no. toys. No toys have ever they perished. They get pulled apart, they, or they don't show back up in certain instances, but uh, according to the internet, no toys have actually died. Have perished. No toys are done. I'm sure that someone will debate you on that. Maybe maybe one died. Well, like if, in, if Rickles first died one in, that never Rickles, actually made an appearance. Rickles died in 2017, and it says that he was in... Toy Story 4 in 2019. So I guess they might have just used stuff that he had yeah. in the can, or maybe they, <laughs> maybe he recorded it and died yeah, yeah, the yeah. next day. <laughs> they were like, Don's not looking good. <laughs> Get some audio clips before he kicks the bucket, poor guy. <laughs> this potato. <laughs> Mr. Potato Head, speaking of here. How's uh, my heart? Good, good, good. Rest in peace, Don Rickles. We love you, buddy. We love One of my favorites. One of the best to ever do it. Potato Head might go that plus four hundred. That would be funny if, if they Potato just Head him just he's dead Yeah, yeah. In real life, it's the first scene. If Potato, if Mr. Potato Head, he's dies. on the he's on the hospital bed. <laughs> <laughs> beep, beep, beep. When they just t- take out his tater tot heart, give him, a, <laughs> give him a new one. He's right back to life. <laughs> it's like in a live situation. They all go down on a an airplane and they eat Mr. Potato Head. Is he an or- or- organ donor? Of course. They just rip his hand right out of him. Here it is. There it is. <laughs> Thank you. I knew. I stumbled on the word, but you got yeah, it. You was, liked it. That was for my bad joke. <laughs> oh, shit. That. You sound like you were from Boston. Organ donor. <laughs> <laughs> I've had too much Zins. Well, this was a great episode. I think so, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you, you thought it was a bad idea for us to go over these bets. I did. And I think it's funny how wrong you were. <laughs> okay, good. I'm glad you had a good time. I got the 13 on the wonder this is the why show. You... I think we just look at stupid pets every week. I, I don't understand why you ask why why you think that anything I say is right ever. I mean, I got 13 on the wonder Why it's you? True. If I say something stupid, it's probably going to do well. You're right, folks. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. If you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe. You know, trying to get them numbers up, baby. If you're listening, five star review, leave a positive review, all that stuff. Pizza Square, you got anything? Mark Roulette plus 500. Let's go. Let's get it. See you next week. <laughs>